All right, so let's see how to start an Excites layout from scratch. First, I'm just going to add a big block of channels. So I'm just going to come in here and tell it I've got 40 universes. I save that, jump to my layout. All right, I want a background image. So I've got this house I grabbed off of someone's pictures. I'm going to hit the fill button. You could uh, adjust it here, like you say, you want to make it a little bit wider and take up a little bit more screen space. Maybe it's too much, go 70. All right, so I got my layout on the screen. So I'm going to go up here and double click, create single line, and I'm going to start drawing these lines. Boom, boom. You could come back and adjust them later. Yeah, just so we can see a little bit more. Let me take this brightness down. Boom. Boom. I'm going to guess that's here. some bushes back here but we're just we're just showing how quick you could do it if you wanted all right that looks like a well I'll do the lines first here so let me put these lines here try to finish this thing off easy right I don't think this takes 10 hours someone was saying this takes 10 hours in our program close enough for government work Call that one good. All right, if you look, all them models are now chained together. Now let's, let's add a couple more things that aren't in there. Let's say we want some candy canes across the yard here. And I'm going to, I mean, not candy canes, arches. Four, five, six. Uh, let's the candy canes I was talking about and I'll make a few more of those just make it smaller and let's put a star up here how about the mega tree we'll put that here and I think I'll call that good for now so let me create a group. I'll call that everything. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to toss all that stuff into that group. So now this is basically like creating your whole house mob. I'm going to hit save. All right, I'm ready to sequence this thing. Let's say create a new sequence. I'll pick a song. I'm going to pick 50 millisecond timing quick start. All right. Now this is what you get when you start out in a blank in a blank folder. I don't like this setup, so I'm going to close the things I don't normally use and then quickly put my layout the way I like it. I kind of like to get all my windows on the bottom here. Drag this up so I have a little more room. And then you want to go here to view perspective, save as new. I call it like bottom layout. That way you can have this layout when you come back into the program. So let's go to settings, timings, new. I'm going to say I want to get the beats out of that song. 
Excellent's going to process the beats and give me a beat track. Now that's done. So I'm not really going to use those yet. First I'll just show I could take and drop a drop a butterfly effect down across that house there. And now I got a nice full house effect. Let's say I want to pulse a fill effect. This is a new one I just worked on. Let me zoom in a little bit here. And let's say I want direction up and I'm gonna make that go up and down. So if you want to go faster could go through a few different colors. Maybe I want to drop our nice fan effect on there. Radius isn't big enough. Let's just move that way on over to cover, try to cover that whole house area. And pull it out to slow it down. Gonna make my blades a little bit wider. I'll just make them 100%. Get a nice covering of everything. And let's slow that down a little bit. Make it just go a little bit slower. There you go. So it shows how to render that. You can also come down here to any one thing. Like say I wanted to drop a morph effect here. See how that's going across all of them. You could put a second one down here and change the render style to single line. And I need to make that one a single sweep right. Let's see. That'd be sweep right. There we go. So that'll go across all of them. Whereas this goes this goes like one more for crossed and this is like a copy on each one going across. And you can make that morph have several different tail colors. Uh, let's see. What else can we do? I'm trying to show a variety of effects. marquee effect you could sometimes do some cool stuff with. Oh you want strobes. Increase the amount. Let's say you don't want let's make them white. So you can change the colors. Alright, so you've seen that. I'm trying to give an overview of everything we can do really quick. Turn on the timing track. So now you could come down and highlight highlight everything here and say, you know, I want to do an up ramp, highlight this, and hit D for down. You can do that down here on like any one of these, like I could go across here. And say I want to ramp up. I can hold down shift and grab the. Whoop. Let me highlight all them. Grab the end. Oh, I forgot. Alt key. I was trying to do shift. So I can kind of do a chase. That doesn't look good, but kind of shows the idea of some of the editing capabilities. You can grab any effect and move it. You can use arrow keys, go up, down. You can come across and it'll skip over other effects. You can. It's pretty much do anything you want. Let me put a shockwave across this guy. Make the radius bigger. Make it wider. Look at that. Ten minutes.